Well, today we are bidding farewell to our colleague and friend, Lynn Hayes Freeland. She is retiring after 45 years in TV and radio. So if you were with us last hour, you saw Lynn looking back on the beginning of her career. Now she's reflecting on her transition to news and the legacy of the woman we affectionately call LHF. By the late 80s, local TV stations were starting to phase out their programming departments, including KDKA. That's when Lynn was offered the chance to move into news, something she wasn't totally sure she wanted to do until her boss made her see it in a different light. So I remember saying, you know what, I don't want to go to news. I, they eat raw meat down there. I don't <laughs> want to be a part of that. And she said to me very candidly, I have 11 people that I have to lay off. I can make a swap if you want to be in that group. Otherwise, you're going to news. You're watching KDKA TV 2. Lynn went to news thinking she'd be a producer, but no, the news director had other ideas. And she said, you know what? I don't need any more producers, but what I need is reporters. And I'm like, Sue, I have never done news before. She said, no problem. I'm going to have you go out with Harold Hayes for a couple days this week, and then we'll start you on the air on Monday. And the rest, as they say, is history. During her 30 years reporting the news, Lynn covered it all. But it was one of her final stories that had an especially profound impact on her. A few months after the tragedy at Tree of Life, Lynn traveled with members of the New Light Congregation to Charleston, South Carolina. They met there with members of Mother Emanuel AME Church, site of another mass shooting just a few years prior. The first couple days were just very routine, but it wasn't until the Sunday service that the emotions on every side came pouring out. Calls any hour of the night, any hour of the day. As these two congregations, both victims of hatred, came together, they began to hug, they began to cry, and there was what seemed to be a release of pain and hurt that had been kept inside for a long time. And this must have gone on for 35, 40 minutes. And it was tears, and then it's as if they all dried up. Mm. Um, but it was one of the most emotional moments that I have ever witnessed. Yeah. Lynn has also been involved in some of KDKA's most treasured traditions, including our annual Children's Hospital Free Care Fund Benefit Show, which she produced for several years and has also helped host. This is always about the kids. It is always about the families, and that's what makes tonight so special. And for many years, Lynn was the driving force behind our waiting child segments. All he needs now is a family to support and love him. What are you most proud of when you think back, when you reflect on that whole series of reports? Oh, easy question. Adoptions. You know, nearly 70% of the kids that we featured on that segment got adopted. And sometimes you talk to these kids and, um, you know, you say, well, what's the one thing you really want? And they say something as basic as, I just want to feel loved. I just want to feel like I belong. Um, to be able to, to help that happen is an unbelievable feeling. In 2019, Lynn left daily TV reporting and returned to her roots in radio, becoming the first African-American female host in the history of KDKA Radio. 10.09 on a snowy, slippery Friday morning. I am Lynn Hayes Freeland. The radio station was about to turn 100, so it was long past time for that to happen. I also knew that I was nearing the end of my career as well, but what I thought was if I can open this door and someone else can come in this door now, then this is worth it. But now, after 45 years, Lynn's decided it's time to turn off the mic full time, though she will continue to be a part of a few things at KDK Radio and here at KDK TV, because the idea of saying goodbye isn't so simple. You know, it's hard when you think about, uh, when I think about the fact that I've walked through the doors of this building every day for 40 plus years. This is where I grew up. I started as a kid here. You know, I got married. I, got, I had my kids. I got divorced. I did everything here. Um, and so the people here become your family. Oh, and we are so grateful to have Lynn as part of our KDKA family. It's truly been an honor to know you, to work with you. Well, and you know what? You use that term family, but uh, we have been a family. I yeah. mean, when you think of the people that you spent all those years with, holidays, mm -hmm. and 
we went through good times and bad times together in covering the news. Sure. You know, sure. some of the most emotional times in our lives we spent together. You deserve to be enormously proud of everything you've accomplished over 45 years. This is probably your last opportunity to say this is a terrible mistake and I'm going to continue <laughs> to st What was I thinking? I'd like to stay. I know maybe your kids and grandkids would have an argument about with you. You know, and having seen their ha their Halloween costumes today, Aww. and my grandson said to me the other day, "You're not going to be here for Halloween, Grandma." <laughs> um, so no, it's going to be yeah. hard to resist. Right. But I get it. Yeah. All right. Do you yeah. want to take a moment if you want to deliver a final message to all the people who've watched you and grown up with you and raised their kids as you were raising their kids? All of that. <laughs> you, want to say you know what? And it is. I feel like we've been on this journey together. We grew together. I. Uh, uh, I got a text, a uh, social media post today from someone who said, you interviewed my dad back in 2002, and I just wanted to come through the TV and hug you because you were so kind. We did this all together. We made a difference together. We made a change together. And I look forward to what you guys and you guys are going to do from here on in. You're awesome. Thank you, Lynn. You led the Wish way. You all the best. Thank you. And I know it's not a complete goodbye. You have promised me you'll continue to be part of the Children's Hospital Benefit Show. I will. And he debates things that may come up here and there. Yeah, and the right. producer, Corey already told me I have to get a new red sweater. He's like, <laughs> you got to get rid of that red sweater. You need a new one. So. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much.